Welcome to another session of the International Crimes Investigative Committee. Um, today we will take a closer look at the United Nations, which many people are aware of that they are supposed to become the one world government as proclaimed in the Great Reset. So what is the United Nations about and who do we talk to? Well, our interview partner is a former high-ranking member of the United Nations. Um, his name is Kalin Georgescu, and uh, it is best to talk to someone who knows from personal experience what he's talking about, rather than to talk to someone who just has ideas about what is going on inside the United Nations. Kalin, you used to work at the United Nations. What exactly did you do there? Well, I serve uh, this institution, uh, thank you for your question, uh, 17 years, almost 18, if I can say. I start in, um, in Romania, mm -hmm. in the United Nations Development Program, which, uh, let's say, gave to me the chance to understand, first of all, the system. I... Um, I was a director for uh, an important project, uh, call it um, to, to, to coordinate the Romanian National Sustainable, Sustainable Development Strategy and Local Agenda 21, which I did for almost 40 county, counties in Romania. And after that, step by step, I arrived uh, to different, uh, let's say, events uh, and uh, in uh, New York and after that in Geneva, uh, in many other countries. And I arrived also in the um, board for uh, Europe in the United Nations Environmental Program. And the most important was that I was special rapporteur for, uh, for waste, for dangerous products, uh, almost uh, two years and a half. And all the, in all these things, I am... Um, I had a chance to to have many meetings, uh, many interviews, and particularly to understand how is running this system. But particularly in this position, I had the chance to arrive to, uh, let's say, to the key people to understand how can work this uh, train. And how did you arrive at the United Nations? Did you make... Um a conscious decision, I want to join the United Nations because I want to help the people live better lives, or did they approach you? How does it work? Well, very good question, yeah. In fact, um, even myself, um, I was absolutely sure that uh, United Nations is a fantastic institution which can help uh, the people and the welfare and the human being and to be a good life, to have a good life and everything to be in harmony with the nature. Because this is my background, background uh, environment, environmental protection. Mm -hmm. So based on my background, of course, uh, I, I arrived to United Nations and I arrived to be, a, as they call it, a, a specialist in sustainable development. Um, but later on, of course, I find um, how, in fact, the things are moving. Because when, particularly when you are going in the field, you, you find the reality. Reality is not from the office, not from the newspaper, not from the TV. It's from the ground. In the ground, I find that the most important part of the game, that the nature the gods, the universe, give to us everything we want. Everything. So he, the universe, can cover all our needs, but it's impossible to cover our greed. And the greed is not from the majority of the people. The greed is coming from a small part of the people, call it today, okay, the globalists, the people they said, mm -hmm. but it's not that, mm -hmm. in my opinion, which is correct that is uh, fighting today be 
between sovereignty and globalism. Mm -hmm. But the main important cause is the oligarch, the world oligarch system. This is the main important part. Are they the one who they control? They want to have the control. And uh -huh. for this reason, UN, I, I understood your introduction. Um, I don't believe that UN, which is this I find myself from inside, can be uh, as the people they understood, or in general is this, uh, let's say, rumor, mm -hmm. whatever, that UN can be the new uh, one government, world government. whatever. Mm -hmm. No. UN, it's exactly the, the, um, the platform, the bridge uh -huh. for the oligarchy system to control. And, and the oligarchs are the ones who gather once a year they in Davos, use, the use, members of the World Economic Forum? Um, of course. And mm -hmm. this is a point because the UN agenda for 2030, as all the people they know, and with all the objectives great that will be not uh, will be not um, uh, problems with the food with uh, you know the scarcity of the of the, of the natural resources or uh, we take care about the human being we take care about the children everything is equal this platforma this UN platforma for uh, 2030 with Davos uh, agenda mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this is a main important point because um, UN agenda for 2030 is equal Davos agenda. Mm -hmm. And here I want to underline one important point that both of them are NGOs. So in fact, this Davos or World Economic Forum, whatever is nominate, um, is an NGO. And in fact, my first question, believe me, was when I arrived first of all in Davos, and I have seen um, so many uh, control and powerful system. I mean, all the, let's say, uh, Swiss police was engaged in this uh, small, uh, you know, very well city, mm -hmm. which is in fact, it's a tourist one for winter time, for, mm -hmm. for skiing, for that. So you cannot find so many troops in any part of the world that you can find in Davos. In uh, other words, the public security agency, the, the official police, the official was used police to protect, protect a private an enterprise, protect an, NGO. an NGO. No, an NGO, not private, not private, an NGO. Well, that is a private enterprise because it's, it, it, they have member states, but the organization itself is a private organization, an NGO. Yeah, it's an NGO, yeah, mm -hmm. but in a sense that uh, we cannot discuss even about the business, mm -hmm. uh, let's say, uh, industry. Mm -hmm. we discuss about an NGO, and this NGO was protected totally by uh, the public... Uh, police. Police. Mm -hmm. This is number one. Number two is that um, in the moment when you, you go in, and you can see the meetings and the, the discussion, the conversation. I find that everything is, um, how I can say, it's, um, it's extremely strong control. Mm -hmm. In a sense, it's just um, theater. Huh. Everything was done before. It's just someone who made the, the artists, who they are doing the... The show. So they just go through the motions. All the real decisions have been made in the background. It's, it's made in the background and everything is controlled. Mm -hmm. For example, this statement made by this uh, guy, uh, Jvab, mm -hmm. that um, well, he said uh, recently you know, that uh, you don't have anything and, uh, and you'll, you'll be, be happy. happy. Mm -hmm. He lost the last sentence. You don't have anything we shall have. <laughs> In fact, this was, this is the main important point. Yeah. Uh, and again, uh, the, the problem is that the UN agenda is the same with Davos agenda. Mm -hmm. This, in fact, is my main topic for our conversation today. And uh, of course, this, um, 
how I can say this uh, um, extremely um, uh, tough position which I had for uh, in front of them uh, was not only from that. It was because UN, in fact, was uh, set up in 1945 mm -hmm. as United Nations, the League of United Nations, mm -hmm. with one simple purpose, Reiner, to take care and to build and to keep the peace strong and powerful in a sense to don't arrive never ever in our life mm -hmm. as the second war, which was a disaster. Yeah. So the, the UN this as the a successor organization of the League of Nations started out as something good. Something good, exactly. So mm -hmm. for this reason, myself, I was there. Mm -hmm. and many peoples mm -hmm. that I, have, I, uh, I met and I have a lot of friends there. So it was a, was a fantastic purpose. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> no, all of us, we can join such mm -hmm. things. The, the problem is not this. The problem is that in different meetings, which I, I participate myself, I've, I have seen the peace very small, like a Cincerella in the corner. Mm -hmm. And she wait to have a chance to speak. And she never had this chance. She's just is waiting, she's waiting, she's waiting. And in fact, all the discussions, they were for war. But they don't say war. And why is it was that? was very manipulated. Yes, they, they used the, they, everything that everything, stood on its head, right? Exactly, exactly. And when fact, they say peace, they mean war. They, mean when, war. They mean, when, they, when they say justice, they mean injustice. This is a point. Exactly like in sustainable development, mm -hmm. which I trust a lot in this. A lot. Because I find fantastic for the humanity. Mm -hmm. And for example, for sustainable development, I have been to most of the meetings and official and unofficial and negotiation. I can tell you how is the results. The results is that in the end of the day is just one conclusion, how we can increase the consuming. Mm -hmm. And sometime, of course, or many, many of the events, the most important is the gala dinner how we can arrive to the, <laughs> the food. So to increase only the consuming side, it's very dangerous because in fact, this was a, exactly the same situation with the Club of Rome, another important NGO. And you were also a member of the I Club been, of Rome. And also I was the, the president for Europe, of mm -hmm. the Club of Rome for almost two years and a half in, uh, in mm -hmm. Vienna, in Austria. And you encountered the same problem there. Exactly, because the, the Club of Rome was exactly, as you said, for United Nations. I mean, the starting point was in 1968 with a great mind, Aurelio Peche, and a fantastic report in 1970, Living to Gross, mm -hmm. exactly as we discuss now. Mm -hmm. And they, they approach this vision that it's a limit I mean, they find at that time that we are going too fast mm -hmm. and too dangerous. Exploiting the resources of the planet. Uh, yes, but in what sense? Mm -hmm. In a sense of greed. Mm -hmm. One is to, to, to exploit the natural resources, for example, in Ghana mm -hmm. or in Guinea Conakry. Why I say Guinea Conakry? Because Guinea Conakry, as I have seen myself in all the planet I, I, I have been, is one of the most... Um, richest country in the world. And it's very small, mm -hmm. very small. Like, uh, for example, uh, Leipzig and Berlin together. Oh, really? Yeah, very small, mm -hmm. but it's fantastic rich. I had no idea. Fantastic, the best top of gold and other natural resources that are in, in Guinea Conakry. Mm -hmm. So Guinea Conakry, if they want to exploit the natural resources for themselves, this is fine. But if they are coming others yeah. from outside, this is a problem. So here we are with a natural resources exploitation because we, I mean, the, the countries, majority of the countries in the world, including Romania, because we are here, they have not control for their own natural resources. 
there are ex it's exactly the system controlled by Davos particularly with the same agenda with U mm -hmm. UN, exactly as I told you. And they control the natural resources and the, um, let's say the people on the power, because they cannot say leaders because doesn't exist political leader. Mm -hmm. Particularly in Europe doesn't exist, mm -hmm. it's zero political mm -hmm. leaders. But let's say the um, people which they, they have the power, there are their employees. For this reason, this oligarchic, the world oligarchic system, they have the power on Europe because they control all the people like Bundeskanzler or president or prime minister or whatever there are. Mm -hmm. Because they, they are not the employee of their people. They work for the other side. Exactly. They, they the work employees. for the oligarchs. They are, there are employees of the oligarchs. Is it so in effect, what you're saying is that the UN is now indistinguishable from the World Economic Forum or Davos in short, because it is being controlled by the same ideas and the same oligarchs. Totally. hundred percent. Totally. 100%. Mm -hmm. totally. And the World Economic Forum, in turn, creates their leaders who are then going to be elected by us through their Young Global Leaders Program. This is a point. In general, in uh, United Nations, there are coming people um, which they check before if they are politically correct. Mm -hmm. But you have, be, you have to be... 100% totally correct, totally politically correct. Mm -hmm. If you are not, you cannot be in. However, they need also, how I can say, wise, smart or intelligent, people. let's mm -hmm. say smart people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because they, they need also the opposition, like in Hollywood films. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need also the opposition, otherwise it's too dangerous to be just in one side. Mm -hmm. And they try to control you by salary, mm -hmm. by... Um, Paying you a lot of money. By Exactly, by different uh, offers, uh, mm -hmm. in a sense that you have access, free access to the transport, free access to the restaurants, free access to different things. And in fact, it's a badge, mm -hmm. your badge of UN badge. UN badge does mean that you are some, someone important in compared with the people from the street. Oh, you know, this, I mean, so they, they make you feel not just they, richer than the people on the streets, but superior important. to them. Exactly like in the banking system. Uh huh. Look to the young people who there are employees in the bank. Mm -hmm. They receive maybe around 400 or 500. US dollar per month. Mm -hmm. With $500, he, in his car, he can see on the street his friend and he says, sorry, I have no time for you. I'm someone, mm -hmm. I, I'm, in the, I'm the banker. Mm -hmm. So they invest in manipulate the mind of the people. And in a moment when you manipulate the mind of the people, the people, they sell their soul. And it's finished. So and even it, though if they, they may have started out with good intentions, they choose people who, as you said, are completely in line and are willing to sell their souls. Correct. Exactly. Uh huh. I mean, the, the starting was perfect. I repeat again, the, the starting point of United Nations, the starting point of the Club of Rome, mm -hmm. the starting point of masonry, mm -hmm. Freemasonry. Mm -hmm. Let's be realistic. I mean, they... They, are, they did a lot of good things. I mean, what, is, what was the reason that Mozart was arrived to be Freemason? Because he wants to participate mm -hmm. for the welfare of the community. Yeah. To participate for the human being support. What happened? So happened, they why did they all get in derailed? They, they infiltrate mm -hmm. uh, different guys in order to to control what is good. Mm -hmm. In fact, my point from all my experience and based on your last question is the following. They don't like to be 
something um, not only good, but to be uh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. They don't like the to you or to your life to be beautiful, to mm -hmm. be harmony. Mm -hmm. They like just the black, the whole, you know, the the um, the, the system which uh, you have to be in under control. With in other words, you know, Darwin said to us that we are coming from animals. Mm -hmm. The new Darwins, the descendants of monkeys, the new Darwins, they said they are coming from robots. Mm -hmm. And here we are. I mean, we discuss about the transhumanist process, which those people, they want to impose mm -hmm. and how they can impose. We, they impose in a moment when the, the people are totally, they believe that this system internationally, which is somewhere high from you, take care about you. And only if what they are saying, you have to respect, which is wrong. As they are trying to push us today, you know very well that uh, OMS to, to dictate everything about our health. Mm -hmm. how, how can be someone to dictate about me? Or and about it's, you? that's it's another impossible. NGO. That's the World it's Health not. Organization. It's just another NGO. Yeah, it's the same. I mean, they are, no uh, one there was elected by anyone. No, they are just <laughs> nominate. Yes. And they are nominate in general the people who there are totally totally slave in their mind. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the only so, reason I can find why someone like Tedros, who in his own country has committed crimes, why this man becomes the chairman of the World Health Organization, only because no one elected him, but he's nominated, as you said. You are talking about the Egyptian, no, the, the Ethiopian. Uh, Ethiopian, yeah. You know what? I met him. Uh -huh. Uh, once when he was Minister of Foreign Affairs. He was before Minister of Foreign Affairs. Yeah. Yeah, I met him, um, I remember right now, um, in uh, Geneva for a meeting. And he was exactly, you know, the definition, the definition of the slave. Ha. Huh. But I want to tell you very clear what does mean this and to, to understand um, our people who they are looking to us. You know, in the year of 60 was the great legend in the uh, in United States, Malcolm X. Malcolm X was the leader against the slavery, mm -hmm. I remember. And he, he was the leader of the Black Panther movement, I believe. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. <clears throat> and he was assassinated, by the way. Yeah. Exactly the same situation as with Kennedy. Because he defined is very clear. And he said, house nigger and feel nigger. Mm -hmm. So Petros is exactly the house nigger. What does mean this? The Uncle Tom. Exactly. In a sense that he, I can see now, <laughs> he said, we, we, all the time is we. We does mean you as slave together with your, um, your boss. Mm -hmm. And you are we. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't say my boss. You said we. Yeah. I mean, because he is part of the system already. Because the boss pays. That's him. how house trained they are. Exactly. This I'm is really surprised. House, house nigger. Mm -hmm. Which has been the slave who is totally dedicated to the boss, even that is Brussels or is Washington, Euro mm -hmm. European Union, whatever. It's the same. And how the and the, and the Phil nigger, there are the, the the people which they don't want that their country to be a field mm -hmm. for others, mm -hmm. which exactly we discuss today in a sense that uh, all the system they want to control what and here is the main important point, Reiner, that all the majority of the humanity, the people, they, they understand that what Davos said, that the control is about the financial and banking system. This situation, which we arrive today, in a sense, with all these dramatical uh, events in, uh, in Ukraine and with Russia, demonstrate 
that is not this. The powerful is where are the natural resources. Mm -hmm. Because Russia, it's a, it's a country with huge natural resources. And they, they, they don't want. They don't want. I mean, who, who you are to control your natural resources? We have to control everything. Look in Africa. It's a, it's a continent which I know quite very, very well. I spent almost eight years in different missions and other things like this. So Africa is uh, probably the most beautiful part of the world. Mm -hmm. And doesn't exist free country there. I don't say about other uh, part of the planet, but I'm saying about only the Africa continent. Guinea Conakry is to take the same country. It's, it's a dramatical one. I mean, Guinea Conakry can be, how I can say, the pearl, mm -hmm. can be the, you know, what? gold lingo bar of the planet. Small, beautiful, fantastic, full of natural resources. Do you understand? Full. Full does mean full. And the people that are on the, on the street with the device in the front and play games. What happened? Brainwash all of them. They control exactly the, the presidency institution and the people that are the slaves for their uh, how do they control companies? the leaders of these countries again through money by offering them an education for their children for their children for their family their their uh, one moment guinea conakry ah it depends about france uh-huh yeah it's a french uh, yeah uh former uh, colony in fact the slavery didn't disappear, as those people said. It's mm -hmm. most powerful, as never. Mm -hmm. Only in a different the sense. The door of the slavery, which we know from history, was Dakar in Senegal. Yeah. Is now all the continent of Africa. Mm -hmm. Everything. There are doors and doors and doors and doors you know, for slavery. And, uh, but the slaveholders are now different. In effect, it's the oligarchs who control the, the oligarchs UN. oligarchs the same. And the oligarchs mm -hmm. control the... I mean, for this, it doesn't exist a uh, uh, correct political campaign. Mm -hmm. It's just a uh, full control and they put exactly the person who they are. Yeah. No they're, real elections anymore. No, doesn't exist election. Come on. Doesn't, I mean, it's just on the paper. Mm -hmm. Because they, they know how they control this. And how we can manipulate the mind of the people to vote exactly what they want. So, so for this reason, sorry to interrupt you, the, the situation with Donald, Donald Trump was a big shock. They didn't expect that to happen. That was an no. accident, I suppose. Absolutely an accident. From Not the, part of their game was plan. was the first time of the oligarch system was what happened an accident. Mm -hmm. Because normally you have to be Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Not Donald Trump. Yeah. And the process which we are dealing now uh, with this pandemic and all these uh, liars was supposed to be in 2016. They in were pushed into, into exactly, an early Exactly, in start. a sense to be in 2020 to be a, a disaster regarding food and water. Ah, and I see. Which normally they want to arrive in 2025 now. I see. So the plan was a little bit changed. And for this reason, uh, of course, they, don't, they will not succeed. This is clear. I mean, the, the system is almost down. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, but uh, of course, there are the last moments and we have to be, to have the courage now, all of us, to say no. For me, the most important uh, piece of this game, Reiner, is that what I have seen in UN to my colleagues, not only to, uh, let's say, to, to the smart one, you know, from which I, I had, is they don't have the power to say no. Because they know that in the end of the month is someone who push a button and in his bank account, they are coming a few thousand dollars. So it's all about money. Yeah. Money equates power. Now, you gave me some examples um, just to make this a little bit clearer to the general public. When we're talking about these people selling their souls, literally. Um, 
They're, they they get everything for free, free transportation, free restaurants, pretty much. Pretty, yeah, pretty almost. much. Important is that it's uh, it's absolutely you pay almost nothing. Okay. Plus they get a a, a base salary. Yeah. And on top of that, they get per diem. Per diem. Per diem. And in some cases, that amounts to two thousand dollars a day per diem. Depends about the country. Yes. But if it's a country with a risk. Mm -hmm. It's quite substantial one. For example, you are going in Africa or somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you are going in Europe, it's hundreds, mm -hmm. hundreds. Yeah. But the important is that you cannot say no. If you do say no, you're going to lose all this. So this was my chance mm -hmm. to to uh, to be a breakthrough and to to arrive in my consciousness and to say no. But the no have to be totally irrevocable one, mm -hmm. like a like a legal decision you know, to be a something which. Was there a particular incident that made you decide I have to get out of here, the or was it a slow uh, process? Well, of course, it was step by step. Mm -hmm. The most, most important one was my last mission in uh, Marshall Islands, mm -hmm. where I have seen probably the. The, the most beautiful part of the world. And I have seen how, how a disaster was made by United States uh, with the exercise of the atomic bombs mm. in 1960, which they destroyed totally, uh, was most part of the, of the archipelags in Marshall Islands. You told me they destroyed the entire tuna fish population. The tuna there. fish and, yeah, because it's a, is totally affected mm -hmm. by, uh, by the nuclear things. I mean, mm -hmm. you cannot... By the radiation. It's not exactly by the radiation. Mm -hmm. You cannot clean, like you clean the house. Yeah. It's uh, not possible, this. But the most important was affected this paradise. Mm -hmm. With people, they didn't know that what exists, the second war. They didn't know that there exist doctors. Mm -hmm. Big, and they didn't need any. Yeah, because they simply, and, and the average was 180 years old, one, 200 years old. Really? Yeah, and now the average is 35, 40 years old. The average they, age of when they died was 180 one, to 200? One, 100, 180, 200. Oh my God. This, exactly, and now the average is 40, 40, 45, no more. Cause to the radiation, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the most important part was that in the moment when I arrived to, with the report in, uh, in Geneva, back to on the mission, they, they did everything, again, everything was possible to stop me to present this report. And uh, including that they canceled my uh, press conference. Mm -hmm. And uh, with a respect for the people who I met in Marshall Islands, I'm speaking, of course, the local people, I uh, quit it. I decided to, to leave forever. Mm -hmm. So it's not a process of, um, let's say, someone to say to me uh, or to push me, it was a point of consciousness, plug off, off matrix. This was done from me in a sense that UN could be a fantastic, it can, can have the fantastic role, but is not because it's totally under control of the oligarchs. Mm -hmm. And they, they try to push so hard this uh, situation that I find in many situations, in many, many cases that the people which they assume that there are the employees, no? I mean, from top to the down or whatever, there are absolutely ridiculous claims in a sense that nobody, nobody can has the power to say no. Just yes men everywhere. Are there and no exceptions to this rule? No exception. And do you know how much cost per year the building in United Nations in Geneva, only in Geneva? is 2.5 billion US dollar per year, just to keep this building with all the employees, with all the cost, 
with everything. 2.5 billion. 2.5 billion. What you are doing with 2.5 billion in Guinea Conakry, by, by the way, we can rebuild all the country in one day. Mm-hmm. 2.5 billion is not 2.5 million, in order to be very clear, 2.5 <laughs> billion. So the, the situation is uh, worst in the moment when, and this is my main important point to you today, is that this is a continuous process. It's not something which is, was starting and could be stopped or, no, it's permanent. They find and they replace the people with another game players, you know, which they don't know that they are doing this job, but they, are, they know that they have a job. And particularly today, with all the problems, can you imagine what is there? I mean, there it's a, it's a life of the dream mm-hmm. to be the employee of UN. The uh, the fact that you work for the UN gives you other special privileges. You told me that you can travel anywhere. You don't need because you have your UN passport, right? When you have the UN badge, <laughs> to say the badge, this, yeah. you first of all you. You can travel of business class everywhere, mm-hmm. even by train or by mm-hmm. plane, everywhere. And you have all the privilege. And with this, does mean that you are there. And you don't even have to pay for that? I mean, if you travel business on a plane, you have to pay no, for it? No, everything is paid by UN, of course. <laughs> it's not by, by me, in fact. I, I don't pay anything, in fact. So it is basically the taxpayers of the world who pay for this without yeah. even knowing yeah. it. Yeah, and mm-hmm. in fact, the money, they are coming from the country because it's a contribution for mm-hmm. each country. Mm-hmm. Besides, for each member state. Mm-hmm. For each member state. Each member state make a contribution, of mm-hmm. course. Nevertheless, that uh, before, I want to be very, very clear, before uh, UN and the, all the situation and the people there op- op- obtain fantastic results, regarding different aspects. Mm-hmm. It's a high diplomacy, I'm telling you, frankly. I mean, you, it's, for me, it was a fantastic school. You, 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 if you are say to me now, I mean, go to the three or four university, is zero in compared to what I, I learned mm-hmm. in the United Nations. Mm-hmm. So it's also a, a good, uh, a fantastic point because here you can, you can meet the, the top diplomatic people, the top diplomatic conversations, the, the negotiation which train you fantastic. But in the end of the day, the same results. So I think my advantage now uh, for Romania and also for, for Europe and what we, we want to do now is that I know how is running this uh, system. And it's important to know because the, the future uh, of humanity have to be the free man. Sovereign people. Who sovereign realize people. that they have their own personal sovereignty. And to, to respect the sovereignty yeah. of the person, mm-hmm. of the human being. Because that's where democracy starts, with the individual. This was start, but it's not. Mm-hmm. And for this reason, we have to, to reconsider that uh, democracy was happened just in the ancient Greece a long time ago, mm-hmm. but it doesn't exist today. Mm-hmm. Like this is really important because the what I take with me as as the upshot of what you're saying is we have the UN, which could have been a great institution, but it was totally captured by the oligarchs who are running the show at the World Economic Forum. Exactly like Club of Rome, exactly like uh, WWF, yeah. exactly like Greenpeace. And we can have many examples like that. Pretty much all of the NGOs, I would Pretty say. Pretty much the biggest one, yeah. Mm-hmm. In, it's clear that NGO, by definition, no, non-governmental organization, it does mean the grassroots, the needs of mm-hmm. the society, of the community, sorry. The yeah, that's, the that's community. what it should be. Should be. But this was immediately... Taken over by the oligarchs. Exactly, yeah. and uh, they... Uh, <laughs> So when we think that they're doing whatever they're doing for the good of the people, in reality, they're doing it for the oligarchs because they run the show. Um, 
and also it's another one. For example, another NGO uh, give money to another one. For example, mm -hmm. National Endowment for Democracy. Do you mm -hmm. know this? Yes. <laughs> Was in totally wrong direction and wrong direction, and uh, and of course they they try to try they support different other NGOs, but exactly. It's a it's a it's a very very how I can say. Um, um, professional manipulation, mm -hmm. very professional, mm -hmm. very smart, very intelligent, just a line, you know, um, very, very um, soft. You don't understand that you are part of the system. So here I want to arrive in our conversation, Rainer, that if the people they understand what does mean the life today, all the governments, they disappear. Once they understand that Even their understand. governments are not their governments, but their governments, the oligarchs' not governments. Not only that, that they don't understand the life because the life is not what we know today. For mm -hmm. example, we are going to the hotel uh, uh, or whatever we, we are doing there. Uh, we are in the, the house, we wake up, we go to the to the to the job, we are going, um, our boss said that we are going to another country, we take a hotel, we take the plane. This is not the life. The life is totally different. The life is how we can approach the nature, how much we are staying with us, how much you talk with yourself, mm -hmm. how much time you spend in one day just for you, only you. In the moment when you spend more time with you, you are more crea creative. Mm -hmm. more elegant with your family, with your wife, with your children. The harmony is important, exactly like in the nature. And by the way, how many wars do you know in the nature? <laughs> Doesn't exist. It's not the wild boar from the, the wild boars from the north. They have a war <laughs> with wild boars from the south. Mm -hmm. Doesn't exist. Only in the human being exist this war. So what you're saying is uh, when people talk about spending quality time with their children, what we should really talk about is having a quality life, not just a carved a out point. niche, but what? a quality life. And that must, to, must be totally disconnected from these global corporations and this NGOs. Quality life does not mean that you are going to the mall with your children <laughs> and with your wife to see a movie, movie and to eat uh, sushi, mm -hmm. not. And by the way, to believe that you are going in holiday. Please try to understand what does mean this term. We are going in holiday. This is wrong. And exactly this is a manipulation. I For understand. For employees of UN, mm -hmm. with the money in the pocket, I'm going in Caribbean, in, uh, Madagascar, in, you know? and you believe in all these dreams that you you are the boss in compare with another one who is going in his own uh, court. Yeah. But normally, holiday have to be each day, and in fact, doesn't have to exist the terms holiday, mm -hmm. because the life is a presence of holiday. We have to enjoy. We don't know to enjoy the life right now. Yes. And they they are very carefully for you to don't enjoy the life. Because the moment when you enjoy the life, you are in the wrong direction for them. You are an emotional delinquent. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to be. You don't have to have emotions. <laughs> With other words, you don't have to have love. In the moment when you have love, which is the most powerful thing which the universe gives to us, you are not for them. You are someone wrong. Hmm. And you have to be quiet immediately. You know? So you have to be just robot, to respect and to work for what they are looking for. For them, in effect. For them. In fact, the majority of the people, they are working for them. Mm -hmm. This is a problem. They are not working for 
their self. They are not working for their own country. Mm -hmm. For this reason, this is so much poverty, which number one in the millennium objectives is to eradicate the poverty. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely bullshit because they don't respect anything from them. Mm -hmm. The poverty is much bigger than never. The disaster of the um, of the of the school it's much bigger than never because here they control the people with the school mm -hmm. because in school in the moment when you are not free and you are just educate to be robot you are in their hands and you cannot be free because you respect exactly the system i, I want to to underline again this point we don't know what does mean the life and this exactly they are looking for even for example your job your lawyer normally you defend a man to another one correct more or less yeah. simply in criminal law you are a defense lawyer and in civil law you represent one against another exactly which in the normal life, like in Marshall Islands, this doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. Because you don't need a system of rules because for justice. Exactly, because we, I know you, you are um, not only a human being, you are, you are a creator, co-creator. So I, my report with you is to understand how I can increase my consciousness and how I can participate with my consciousness to the consciousness of the universe. Mm -hmm. So for this reason, doesn't exist lawyers normally, doesn't have to exist. Uh, doctors. Doctors, exactly. Or politicians. Politicians. Mm -hmm. In general, who is going now in, in politics is someone who doesn't know anything. Yes. He has I a agree. job. Mm -hmm. If you ask him what you are doing. Yeah, this is basically true for all the politicians that Most were elected over the last 30 years, I should say. Yeah. Before that, that may have been different. But ever since they started their Young Global Leaders Program and the influence of the World Economic Forum over the UN, which is now obviously, as you're saying, totally under the control of the world, indistinguishable from yeah, the indeed, oligarchs, indeed. Yeah. this influence has made it possible for them to infiltrate all layers of society with their own people. This is correct. Absolutely. With their puppets. This, of course, uh, this doesn't mean that we, we have to leave the situation like that. We have to have courage mm -hmm. and to change. Yeah. Yes, we have to be, to be involved in politics because this is a situation now which, the, I mean, the position with who we can change. Mm -hmm. So we have to use all the terms in order to do that. And the humanity today it has a big chance with this situation because it's a chance for what for for us to wake up it's a chance to reconsider our life as was done by creator for us for each of us from the beginning of the humanity otherwise uh, it's clear the humanity disappear exactly like like uh, einstein said regarding this uh, nuclear power which uh, you know very well what was made by them exactly in the second war and was used the science mm -hmm. was used against the human being yeah which of course in the moment when they are using that hopefully of course not it's the end of the humanity mm -hmm. but they have and they they invest to have and they reinvest to have, and there are, you know, very well, we can destroy few planets, not only one, mm -hmm. with what we have now today. So it's clear that um, we are in the wrong direction with this. And in the moment when you have organizations which may can change your mind, they have to reduce to the silence. Exactly as UN, which was starting very good again, was fantastic. But in principle, behind, they, they were others which they know how they drive this manipulation. 
in my opinion, the uh, Club of Rome, for example, was started quite very, very strong. I mean, the Limits to Growth was uh, the most powerful book or report, whatever, in the history. Mm -hmm. Because what show to the people, we are definitely in the wrong direction, we have to stop. Otherwise, it's a disaster. And this was manipulated so delicate mm -hmm. that uh, Club of Rome now uh, is absolutely nothing. Because they arrived to the climate change, they arrived to the carbon uh, credit, things which doesn't exist. And this is all about money. It's not the money police. Because through the ICCP, they're creating more money out of nothing for themselves simply by lying to the people about climate change, which exactly. doesn't, doesn't exist, yes. Climate change... Well, we, I'm not saying this exist. because I, this is what I think, but it's because the founder of Greenpeace, um, Dr. Um, Morris... I forget his last name. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. had the declaration. Yeah, and he's a scientist. He yeah. holds several degrees, one of them in biology, I think, and he explained to us in great detail that uh, climate change is a myth. They invented it so that they would be able to sell these... Uh, Not only to impose a fear of the oh, people yeah, yeah, yeah. and to accuse you. That is always the major problem, exactly. fear, because that's what they're using. Exactly. And in order to keep us in fear, they need to have all of their little tools in their toolbox. A Corona, the virus, pandemic, Corona, uh, the, war, the war in Ukraine, war in Ukraine food shortages, exactly. climate change, global up. warming, all that. Yeah, it's exactly. all a myth invented by the oligarchs so that they can make money and keep us in control. Is that the short version of what you're saying? Exactly. How mm -hmm. you can control the people. Mm -hmm. Control in the moment when you use the most important emotion, the mm -hmm. fear. Mm -hmm. In the moment when you are controlling this emotion, you are the boss. And the people, they remain blocks in mm -hmm. this situation. They, they they don't understand that th this is not part of the life. Normally, you, you doesn't exist the fear in general. It exists just the courage. Mm -hmm. The courage doesn't mean the first step in consciousness. And they control this because they find that the people, they don't have to have the power to understand who they are. Mm -hmm. And this was the most important investment in the world. The society doesn't need you to be wise. Because if you are wise, you are looking for freedom. And any society doesn't need you to be free. Hmm. Because if you are free, it doesn't mean that you have questions. You will be a rebel. You will be a lion. And they don't need this. Yeah. They need ducks. Their society they doesn't need, need that. Sheep. Mm -hmm. Exactly. A free society. A free society does need. No, exactly. Yeah, well, okay. But um, fear is the ultimate instrument of control, then. Yeah. We, I, I, yesterday, I think in my presentation, I alluded to the question that they posed to Hermann Göring after the war, mm -hmm. when they asked him, how come, how did, you, how oh, was yeah, it cool. possible for you to make a, a people yeah, of poets and yeah. scientists and writers into monsters? And he said, oh, it doesn't take much. It doesn't make a difference if it's a communist or a capitalist system. The only thing you need is fear. Exactly. And for fear, they're using the pandemic right now. And then the next Uh, tool out of their toolbox and then the next one and the next one because only if people are kept in fear do they follow orders. Yeah, but here it's a very important point, Rainer, because in the moment when they are using that, even that for this person, the fear in the moment or for the group of the person doesn't exist, this remaining consciousness and this it's a bridge for the next generations. So the problem which has happened today, even that will be stopped and for sure be stopped. Mm -hmm. We have to understand, both of us, that this will remain for the next generations. 
It carries over. Exactly. Mm -hmm. We carry on for the children and mm -hmm. for the children of our children. Mm -hmm. Because in subconsciousness, you have to work very, very, very hard with you. For your parents, mm -hmm. for your grandparents, for your children, in order to arrive to a better understanding about the life and about the relationship which I have with my children. Mm -hmm. Which, by the way, today, all of them are on the device. The device does mean everything. The device is already your life. Mm -hmm. And this makes us a lot of problems because it doesn't exist any communication between yeah, us. Yeah, it disconnects them from life. Totally. Mm -hmm. And exactly this they want. Mm -hmm. You have seen one children, by the way, this lockdown, which is totally a criminal act, by the way. Of course. It's a criminal, the lockdown mm -hmm. itself is a criminal act against humanity. I 100% agree. Because you put the children particularly to stay on the computer mm -hmm. most part of the day, and they are totally dependent about the system itself and about the, the substance which... The, the, the laptop or whatever they give to, to, to him or to mm. she. And in the moment when they are dependent, it's like a drug. And you, you have not conversation with him because his life is there. His friends, virtual, of course, his virtual life, his virtual everything is virtual, is there. And you, like father or mother, you try to approach his heart and you can't. Because he's there and you are here. Some people, some parents don't even try to do that anymore. This is I saw a couple absolutely yesterday <laughs> morning at the restaurant mm. and they didn't want to deal with their children. They had these devices, as you yeah. call them, these computer games in front of them, yeah. making a whole lot of noise. Exactly. And that's what substitutes as a, well, as a conversation. But it is not a conversation because you're talking, you're, you're cooperating with a tool, with a machine, really. That's probably another step into transhumanism. This is a, yeah, because the, the end of the transhumanism is the post-transhumanism, mm -hmm. which is a most catastrophic situation of the humanity. Transhumanism is a transition, mm -hmm. the transition to a robot. So we have to say no. The humanity, and this is my message, has to, the people, they have to say no. They have to use this word, which is just very simple, no. Yeah. Say no. No, I do not consent. That's the point. Yeah. So ultimately, when you're saying we have to say no, you're saying you have to say no to the UN because they are really the oligarchs. And when they're talking about yeah. peace, they're talking about war because they're interested in war because that's a good way to make money. When they talk about wealth and economic liberty for everyone, they're talking about poverty because keeping people in poverty makes them money. You control. Yeah, you control. control. Totally. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the moment, do you know how many there are more than one billion? official 1.2 billion people under two dollars per day. Oh. The problem is that this oligarch, all of them are related with the um, system of the pedophilia one. Because we know that there are more than 8 million children per year which they disappear. 8 million does mean the entire population of Austria. Mm -hmm. They disappear without any information, mm -hmm. simply like that. And this is the transhumanism. Mm -hmm. So this criminal act is, um, have to be stopped. And we stop in the moment when the people arrive in the consciousness and the people, they arrive to understand that this is not their life. Otherwise, uh, you know, we, we, we are not in the line anymore 
with what we receive from the nature. Mm-hmm. We receive a fantastic planet with a fantastic resources and uh, we destroy entirely. Because if I can tell you only about the fishing industry, Rainer, which I know very well also from my job, the fishing industry uh, today is a disaster for the oceans because the fishing industry take everything Mm -hmm. from the ground, Mm -hmm. everything, not only the fish which you need or the small fish you are looking for, no, everything. Mm -hmm. And everything does mean everything. You just, it's a a Sahara Mm -hmm. in the the bottom of the ocean. So everything is doing just for greed. For this reason, now we have not natural resources because we destroy, not to destroy, we take everything for our greed. Exactly like Nestle. Nestle take uh, uh, with $1, 1 million cubic meters in uh, whatever country in Africa, and they sell, you know, very well with uh, $2, one bottle of uh, yeah. 300 grams, yeah. 300 milliliters. Mm-hmm. They are trying to monopolize our resources. It goes very far. We have learned from some of the people who we interviewed, we have learned they're even trying to monopolize the air. Do you know how is is this uh, situation with water, by the way? Mm -hmm. I present this also to my students and also in UN. I made a report on that. I said, this is wrong to have a plastic bottle on the table. Number one, because it's in the plastic, which automatically is not nature. Mm -hmm. But number two is that because the water have to be in any place, in any house, in any restaurant, free. Free. How how you can have the idea to make money for what is natural? This is for everybody. Yes. It's not only for But we have no. come used to this already as far well, as water is concerned. I wonder if people will get used to being able to consume the air only if they pay for ah, it. Oh, yeah, of course. They are coming now to, to this point, yeah. But yeah. so the answer to everything is to say, to connect with nature instead of connecting with the UN and its puppets. It's, it's a very short answer, but, yeah, sure. but I think that's what this is all about. Don't believe what these people are telling you, the people who have been fooling you all along. Believe in what nature has to offer us. Um, I can tell you one point. I can reduce this to one small sentence. Trust in you. Believe in yourself. Be yourself. It's all about Be yourself. personal this sovereignty. This is my, mm-hmm. my only strong message for everybody, be yourself. Very good. I mean, be yourself before the someone to say who you are. Knows who you are before the someone say to you who you are. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kali. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you to you. So today's conversation uh, was about who should we trust? And the short answer is, We should trust ourselves, but in order to be able to trust ourselves, we have to know who we are. And that means to not let anyone tell us who we are. Not the UN, because they're run by oligarchs, and not anyone else. We have to know ourselves who we are, and we have to connect with nature instead of with people who are trying to tell us what to do and what not to do. Thank you very much.